Hello everyone. Today I'm back with yet another video on laws in India. Many businesses for various reasons may begin to default in paying their dues. When this happens, a person to whom money is owed may begin to get worried. So what does someone who is owed money do in such cases? Well, he has many remedies, but today we will be discussing and exploring the IBC as a tool to recover dues. Under the IBC, there are three main stages. In this video, we discuss stage one, foundation of a claim. In stage one, there are three critical steps that require to be followed. Step one, check if you qualify under the IBC. This is one of the most critical steps as the entire claims foundation is based on this. If you are not eligible and you proceed, it would be a waste of your time and also the tribunal's time which may result in financial costs being imposed on the claimant. So this step, the claimant, the person who is owed money uh, or the operational creditor in our case requires to check the following. Firstly, whether the amount of the debt is above the threshold as prescribed under section 4 of the code. It must be kept in mind that this value is modified by the central government from time to time which as on today is rupees 1 crore. Secondly, whether the claimant falls under the term operational creditor as defined under section 5 subsection 20 of the code. Thirdly, whether the debt that is the money owed falls under the definition of operational debt defined under section 5 subsection 21 of the code. And finally, whether the debtor falls within the definition of corporate debtor defined under section 3 subsection 8 of the code. Step 2. If all the points mentioned in step 1 have been satisfied, then the operational creditor may proceed by issuing a demand notice under section 8 subsection 1 of the IB code. This notice must be issued within the limitation period of the debt. A format of this notice is provided in the IB rules. Step 3. Once the demand notice is issued, the claimant must wait a period of 10 days for a response of the corporate debtor. At this step, the corporate debtor has limited options, which are prescribed under Section 8, Subsection 2 of the Code. If no reply has been received within this period, or the dues remain unpaid, and no intimation of any pending dispute has come to the knowledge of the operational creditor, then the operational creditor may proceed to the second stage of the process, that is, to prefer an application before the National Company Law Tribunal. Stage 2 will be discussed in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Stay tuned for more.